Hey, Kanzano here with another video for this week. Uh, if you love these videos and you want more of them, subscribe to this channel. Um, before I get started, um, on 750 The Game this last week, we debuted a Keith Jackson segment. And by Keith Jackson segment, I mean it's not really Keith Jackson, but it's sort of a parody bit um, spinoff, supposed to lighten things up, Keith Jackson thing. Um, you either loved it or you hated it. I heard no in between. I'll give you a sampling of that here in a, a few minutes and you tell me whether you give that a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Um, I'm very curious about your feedback about that because it was absolutely polarizing and it surprised me a little bit that people reacted to that uh, as much as anything that uh, we had on Friday's radio show. I want to start with my big takeaway moving forward to this week, but my big takeaway from last week in the college football opening weekend for the Ducks and the Beavers. One thing that became clear to me is the quarterback situations at Oregon and Oregon State that were really mercurial and maybe uh, left a lot to be desired last season seem to have rectified themselves this season. And what I mean is that whole um, Seth Collins thing, that experiment, the McMarion thing that was going on at Oregon State, uh, has been replaced with Daryl Garrettson, who I think is a very good leader and is going to be a very good quarterback if he can stay healthy at Oregon State this season. I say stay healthy because I'm not so sure about their offensive line. Same thing at the University of Oregon. I thought Dakota Prukop made some good decisions and some nice plays under difficult circumstances for a quarterback playing his first game, albeit against inferior competition. Um, that offensive line was breaking down in so many ways around him with four freshmen playing that I thought Dakota Prukop showed a lot of poise, but I what I liked most about him, it wasn't the 270 plus yards, it wasn't the touchdown passes, it wasn't that he accounted for four touchdowns on the day. What I liked most about Dakota Prukop's performance was the fact that after the game and in the ensuing day or two after, when he had every opportunity to make excuses and point at the offensive line, he took ownership. Um, you know, I was really proud of, you know, how resilient the offensive line was. You know, those first couple series, I missed some blitz pickups, you know, and didn't clue them into that. And so, you know, I took a couple of shots, you know, due to my lack of, you know, getting the offensive line, the you know, turned the correct way. And, uh, but, you know, they were resilient. No one looked back, focused on the next play. And then, you know, I think we, things really started uh, clicking once we started picking up those blitzes. He never once hinted at everything that we could see with our eyeballs. Now, I know he's lying. Dakota Prukop, if you're watching this, I know you're lying because I know that uh, back there on that quarterback position, what you're trying to do here is show some leadership here and show some ownership. But I secretly like that he lied to us. I like that Dakota Prukop owned that and didn't point at his offensive line and say, hey, uh, you know, yeah, I wasn't getting a lot of protection and it was really, really difficult back there. So I think those things will work themselves out. I like the offensive line coach at Oregon, Steve Greatwood. I think he'll figure that out. He'll get some guys back. But I love the leadership from Prukop. And I love the fact that Daryl Garrettson at Oregon State makes you go, okay, they have that position taken care of. You don't need to worry about the quarterback position at either university this season. And I think that is my big takeaway from the opening weekend of college football. Will the competition get tougher for Oregon? Absolutely. It's going to get tougher. It has to get tougher. I had a lot of things that I was troubled by in that UC Davis game. A lot of things that Oregon needs to clean up. Uh, more so than, than I'm comfortable with entering week two of the season. Um, and at Oregon State, you know, that was a game the Beavers should have and could have won. They should have won that football game. So I think they leave week one maybe feeling a little better but also regretful that they didn't follow through. And Oregon, I think, has to leave week one feeling like it didn't play very well against a bad opponent, but at least the quarterback situation seems to be taken care of at both schools. Now, I promised you Keith Jackson, so I'm going to give you Keith Jackson. You tell me whether you love it or you hate it. Well, hello again, everybody. This is your old college football buddy, Keith Jackson, with an Oregon Duck football preview. Oh, Nelly. And I tell you, this Saturday, the University of Oregon opens their 2016 season hosting the UC Davis Aggies. A lowly squad the Ducks are sure to make feel pretty humble. Oh, boy. In 2015, the Aggies were plagued by a drug problem. Yeah, every Saturday they got drugged from one end of the field to the other. I tried to reach UC Davis starting quarterback C.J. Spencer for an interview. C.J. told me later he heard the phone ring, but he couldn't find the receiver. 
Oh, wait a minute. There's our Oregon Duck Scouting Report hotline. Hello, you're on the air. Let's hear case. This is Coach Lou. Who's scouting? Coach Lou, would you care to make a prediction? Yes, I think it's going to be a great Saturday, Keith, for the Oregon Ducks against UC Davis. Coach Lou, please say it. Don't spray it. What chance do you give the Aggies of making the game competitive? About as much chance as I'd give a Kardashian sister on final jeopardy. Right, Coach Lou. As much chance as I'd give that swimmer Ryan Lochte of passing a polygraph test. Coach Lou, please. About as much chance as I... Coach Lou, we get the idea. Oh, Nelly. Don't forget, Duck fans, kickoff is at 2 p.m. Please, Keith, don't say kickoff to a man my age. Sorry, Coach. Wait until next time at your old football buddy Keith saying, Go Ducks! And doubt those UC Davis Aggies are going to give you very much trouble! Oh, boy! Again, subscribe to this channel if you want more of these videos, and uh, we'll see you next time.